you guys thought that we weren't going to come back on Utopia of the Seas again and again and again. That's so silly. <laughs> it's been three weeks since uh, the maiden voyage and I'm already like super excited to get back on board. We love Utopia, so um, why wouldn't we be excited? But really we had to come because it's Carrie's birthday. Yay! So this is Carrie's birthday cruise. Yay! You should always have a birthday cruise. Yeah, especially when the ship is in Port Canaveral. It's an hour away from us. And, and it's brand new. And it's on a Friday, three night cruise. You gotta do it. How can you not do a birthday cruise then? You can't not. Here we go. First stop, so we're in the promenade. Let's see if they have a mug. Okay. <laughs> oh, it feels good to be back. Yeah, it smells good. Oh, it smells really good. Okay, I don't see the mug. Well, I guess we'll have to come back on another cruise. <laughs> What's the point? We'll have to come back again, and it's an excuse to come back again. Look at this oh, ship. This is a nice ship. This is a good ship. This is good ship. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good central park. It's a good pool deck. You can see it all right here. One oh, there's spot. a bird in Central Park. Oh my gosh. Oh, you know Could what be an we should do? We couldn't book um, Izumi Sushi Oh, we should go online. book that. We should go book Izumi Sushi. Let's go do that. Let's go do that. Yeah. It's Friday. Friday. Gotta get down <laughs> on Friday. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. This ship is so nice. Um, it, it, it's amazing. By the way, boarding was such a breeze. The, we didn't wait in line for anything. We just like walked onto the ship. Compare it to the last time we were coming because it was the inaugural sailing. People were like lined up at the door and they were ready to come in. This time, it was a breeze. And uh, we just found out that they're still not sailing the ship at full capacity. They're still at a reduced capacity until when? What did he I say? I think like, he said October. October, that's crazy. So that's a long time to not be sailing at full capacity. So yeah. we love to hear that. Yes. This is this is so nice. Like nobody's here. Like boarding. This is the, the easiest, breeziest boarding I think we've ever had. I love it. I bet if we went to the Windjammer right now, there'd be like two people in there. Yeah. There's a giraffe. Hello, giraffe. Um, but this is where Azumi's at. So we're gonna make our reservation. Biggest Azumi in the fleet. Oh yeah. Is it for tonight? What day? No, oh, wait, I, are we supposed to be going to night three? Okay. We have a um, mason jar brunch booked yeah. for today. But that's not until a, it's an hour from now at 11.30. It's 10.30 oh now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we booked our Izumi sushi. We came out to the jogging track. We're walking around. So it's been three weeks since we've been on this ship. And already changes have been made. Yeah. There used to be a ping pong table right here out on the shuffleboard court. It's gone. It's not here. Where is it? I don't know. It's so weird. Oh, we didn't see this last time. We're, we're on the jogging track. Nice to see you, S-E-A. Can I just say that I told Brian I want to walk around the full jogging track and Brian was like, no, we're not walking around the full jogging track. And that's why we didn't see this the last time. But now we're doing it. You have to go on this ship multiple cruises because it, there's so much to do. There's so much to see. Wow. So this is, uh, we didn't see this last time. This is, I guess. Um, just like a seating nook. What is this? <laughs> Our friends at Ordinary Adventures were like, did you see the cloud room? And we were like, no, what cloud room? I think these are the is clouds. It soft? But they're not. This is like hard plastic. Oh my God, I thought it was going to be squishy. <laughs> I could have thought that we would have found the ping pong table in here. Oh. But no. We found a hatch. It's like lost. I want to go down the hatch. I know. <laughs> But it's also, a, tonight's dessert can be guilt-free. Yeah. yeah, tonight's dessert can be guilt-free if you run, but we're not running. We're not but we're still going to be guilt-free because we're on a cruise. Yeah. Pineapple upside down, Kate? We're getting some food at a cafe promenade, a little snack. Thank you. Here's the snacks that they have. It looks, it looks good. like um, Icon. They have um, like pre-packaged things for on the go, just like on Icon. But you can't grab them yourself. You know, but they're there. This looks really good though. This is a pineapple upside down cake. It looks so much bigger than last time. They made it bigger. That's not what we've been seeing as the tread. So it's nice to see. So we're at the karaoke bar right now. And this is something else we didn't notice last time. But our friends told us about it. And so on this cruise, we're like, okay, we have to see if this is true. Is they it true? Have any karaoke rooms. Whoa. Should we, should we go in? Let's go in. I want to. Open okay. it up. Let's see. I think they're locked. Oh, I wonder if are they, they really like, locked? Them? This is the gold room. And platinum. 
It's locked. I want to book one because I was talking about how Virgin Voyages has like closed karaoke rooms and then we learned that they have them here. Let's see if we can book it. Yeah. I don't know how we would do that. Uh -huh. Or the bartender? Maybe. Okay, so we just um, headed down one deck, deck four, and there's the box office behind us, like there. near the ice rink. And uh, that's how we reserved the um, karaoke. We were just like walking around. We're like, hey, let's try the box office. And we booked it for tomorrow at 2 p.m. We're going to yeah. go sing. Sing our little hearts out. That's pretty out. cool. <laughs> I love it so much. Yeah. It's just amazing. Like, we, we've decided that this ship is our second favorite ship, like just behind Utopia, or uh, only, Icon. Only Icon can yeah, beat this. Only Icon can beat it. But it's just so amazing that this is the like best ship in the world, almost. And we can just do a three night cruise. It's, it's, so it's amazing. close to home. Yeah. So quick and easy to get over it's here. Like, it's so not normal to have the like one of the biggest and best ships to do a short cruise. Love to see it. Also, I just want to say, in our last cruise, I, you know, we filmed in the casino. You're allowed to film in the casino when it's closed. Yeah, we also filmed the buffet though. Oh, when it was open? <laughs> yeah, but it was just like That's five seconds. Buffet. It's fine. We filmed this buffet area. That's it's, like, it's like very quick. So quick. It's not like we were like filming like us like playing like blackjack or something. Yeah, which I will do. <laughs> so I was just washing my hands over here because we're gonna go have brunch at Mason Jar. And I just realized something that like, you probably already know. What? But I'm very short. Oh my god. I didn't know that there's mirrors you up here. You can't see yourself Literally in the mirror. I can only see my sunglasses. And oh that's why god. I didn't know before because <laughs> there's mirrors. I like this area though. It's really nice if this you're so tall nice. enough to use them. Yeah, this ship is so nice. Just it's everything about this ship is so nice. So gorgeous. Yeah. But yeah, let's go eat some mason jar. Let's do it. Out of a jar. Something out of a jar. Okay. Okay, so here's where we are now. Uh, we're passing by um, a farm on the ship right now. Wow, it's like we're on the Royal Railway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but here it is, Mason Jar. We had this for dinner on night one last time, and now we're doing it for brunch. I think there's like a slightly different menu. We got our table. We have a really nice table with a view of Port Canaveral. Um, beautiful water views all around. Yeah, I can see the beach from, from here. But um, this is a different menu than what we had for dinner. So this is the brunch menu. And um, I, I guess I should have known that it would be different for brunch. Yeah, there's more breakfasty items. Yeah, there's breakfasty items. So I think we need to get a breakfasty item instead of like the chicken sandwich again. I agree, even though like it's lunchtime for us, but like we need to be eating breakfast. Yeah, because this is cool. They have some really cool sounding things here. Agreed. So for dinner last time we had um, cornbread and biscuits, but now we have cornbread saltines this is pimento cheese in a jar so that's our mason jar for today yeah we definitely didn't have the pimento cheese before no. and that's probably to go on the crack the, yes and then what's what's the butters what is honey butter okay probably this one or i don't know what's the other one i don't know what the other one i don't is. know either but we're gonna find out when we eat them yeah i like this restaurant me too okay we both like this restaurant right yeah Royal Caribbean just announced some of the changes that they're making to Allure of the Seas. Oh no. And some of our favorite restaurants may not make it back on Allure of the Seas. Yeah. Are you okay with Mason Jar replacing some of our favorites? I don't know where they're putting Mason Jar, um, but I'm glad it's going to come to Allure. Me too. I'm, I'm just sad, like they're getting rid of um, Sabor, which yeah. is the Mexican place we love going to on Allure. R.I.P. Sabor. It's becoming Playmakers. Um, it's kind of sad, but they are keeping Samba Grill, which is the Brazilian steakhouse. That's so. a huge shocker to that me. Is, I was so shocked by that. Maybe it's not going to replace something. Uh, maybe Mason Jar isn't going to replace Maybe, it. yeah, because like where we are right now is kind of near the um, windjammer. Windjammer, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what they'll do. Okay, we got our food. <laughs> this looks so good. And even though the sodas are still not in mason jars, yeah. <laughs> the syrup is in like a little baby mason jar. Yeah, that is so cool. This oh, is um, the chicken, chicken and waffles. waffles. Wow, that actually actually looks really actually. good. <laughs> um, but look at mine. Boom, red velvet pancake with a side of potatoes. Um, this looks incredible. Basically, I'm eating chocolate cake. For lunch. For lunch. This looks so good, though, with the powdered sugar on top. I love this restaurant. I know, me too. I love red dye, too. Number 40. So the potatoes were really, really good. I think this is, like, I don't know, it's just weird for me to have um, cream cheese and pancakes. It's a weird combo for me. I don't know. It's probably just, like, too rich for you. Yeah. 
Because I have that sometimes like at, at like IHOP or something crazy. This is yeah, really good. The, yeah, so I had somebody Carrie's chicken waffles. This is actually, I would get this over the pancakes. The waffles yeah. are delicious. Yeah, that's really good. We're checking out the pool deck and surprisingly we found more changes already. It's The ship has only been sailing for three weeks. These two hot tubs here used to be perfect clear glass. Now it's all frosted. That is so weird. I can't imagine why they would need to frost the glass there. Also something I wanted to see changed was this mural. You can tell yeah. that there's a couple of parts that should be painted that aren't. And then a couple of parts where like the, the metal is coming out and I feel like it should meet, like the orange metal is coming out. I feel like it should meet the orange paint, but it's not. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like the mural is wrong. Basically like there's this white square that is like uh, they painted it after the mural or something. It just doesn't match up because like the leaf should extend down there just like this Like the one. green one is yeah. right. But like this, it's like, I don't know, like, I don't know if they had to paint that white and I don't know what happened, but. Uh, they messed up everything after. The green one's perfect. The pink one, there's a little bit of thing that needs to be fixed. Love this pool deck though. It's like, the pool is so massive and then it's like, oh yeah, there's another one right over there. It's crazy. So we're just walking around the pool deck. I just noticed something. I didn't notice this last time. We went on the orange slide last time. I did not notice how steep that drop is. That looks so scary. I like. I didn't even, like when we were on that slide, I didn't notice how steep it was. The first one is steep, but also when you're out of the funnel, it's really steep oh to my get God. down. Yeah. Oh, someone just went, oh yeah, like that one right there too. That's crazy. That one is a different design than the other Oasis class slides, I think. Our room is ready, and so right out there is the boardwalk. Here's the best part about our room, of how close it is to everything. Boom, right here. 6268. Who do we appreciate? <laughs> <laughs> Let's make sure it's actually us. Yes, Brian Carey. Wow. Oh, bed first. Oh, what a joke. Oh, no. We never check for that. <laughs> but how can you? I don't know. They should put it on the map. At least we got lucky last time, and we now we get to experience it both ways. I want the bed last. <laughs> it's still good though. It is. So good. this is a balcony room. Should we check the mattress? I'm sure it's gonna be just like on last three weeks ago. Yeah. Good. Pretty bouncy. So this one isn't an extended balcony, yeah. right? So it's slightly different. Um, I can't tell if it feels smaller because of the arrangement. I think it's or the arrangement. It's actually smaller. I think it's the arrangement. But here's our little, uh, no, this seems smaller. This part seems definitely smaller. I agree, smaller. like that's, yeah. So maybe the extended balcony is better. Maybe it's an extended room as yeah. well as balcony. Um, so here's our, like our fridge and drawers and stuff. And um, yes, we got water. This is the smallest amount of water you can buy is 12 bottles. And yes, we bring them home because we won't, or we're only an hour away. People always ask, what do you do with the extra water? We bring, we bring it, home. it home. And then it makes us feel like we're on a cruise yeah. when we drink it at home. Yeah. Hack. <laughs> So here's our balcony, our non-extended balcony. It still seems pretty good. It looks like it has um, the chairs that have the yeah. ottoman under. Yeah, you can move that ottoman out. I like that. This is pretty good. This is what the view will be like the entire cruise. You can put your feet up. There's the Disney wish. There's the dolphins splashing around. Not really, but maybe. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, there they are. <laughs> I just did a dolphin call and then there were dolphins. Carrie was like, I'm gonna do a dolphin call and it actually worked. Here it is. It sounds just like a dolphin. And then and then there were dolphins. Where, where did they go? I think they're swimming the other direction. I wish they were swimming this direction. <gasps> that was so crazy that you literally were like, let's see if we can find a dolphin. And, and I, I did it. That's insane. I think I might have like the ability to speak dolphin. They're pretty far. There they are. I saw them. Yeah, they're much more um, forward. That's actually aft. Actually, no, it's not. Is it? Actually, no, you're right. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> aft. <laughs> I had to look this way to... Oh my god, this boat's gonna run them over. This ship is so big. Like, I feel like we're very aft right now, so I'm like, there's too much ship that yeah. way for that to be aft, but it's such a big ship. Yeah. Aw, they like ran them over. <gasps> Wait, is that a nerve? Oh, that's one? a pe pelican. That's a pelican. Yeah, that's a pelican. Deceived us. 
It's crazy how like there's actually dolphins in this area at Port Canaveral. I feel like it's kind of bad. Oh, like, there they go again. They're like hanging out like right there. That boat is hanging. Oh my God, they're gonna tip over the boat. <gasps> they're swarming. What do you bet this is fruit and not cookies? Oh. No! Black. <laughs> do, we, do we even need to look at the bathroom? Should we just look at it? Yeah, we have to look at it. What if Maybe what if, what, if the, what if the people before us left a surprise? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh of course, the, the shower is really good on this ship. It's deep. It's really big. Um, the towel up there is in a weird location. It is true. I bet that's like the floor towel. And then um, this is actually a design flaw that we kind of realized on the last cruise, where there's not enough space to put your hand, but whatever. If that's the worst thing that we can find, then I think that is the honestly that's the worst part about Utopia is, is the sink this, design. Yeah, this because what happens is all the water floods over here. That is the worst part about the ship. We'll live. Yeah. Okay, we got our bags, they've arrived. You might not be able to see mine <laughs> because it's perfect Royal Caribbean blue. Yeah. I didn't plan this, Can't but even see it. it's camouflaged. Yeah. No one can steal it. Yeah, this room still, it smells so new and fresh. It's so nice. Are you gonna unpack? It's a three night <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I'm, well, I need to hang up my my uh, like my, my jacket, chops clothes. my chops outfit. So that's why I'm gonna unpack. All right. Yeah. So this is Carrie's birthday cruise, and if you remember, on the last cruise, I got Carrie's present. I got the earrings from Effie. You didn't say that they were earrings. I didn't say what they were. Okay, well you knew what they were. I knew what they were, but they don't know. Okay. It's supposed to be a surprise. Well, anyway, I got something, and I. I got it for her birthday and now it's her birthday and I didn't give it to her on the last cruise. I was waiting until now. So happy birthday. Thank you. Can we talk about this wrapping paper for a second? <laughs> because look at all these cute little kitties. Wow. I love kitties. I'm a little cat lady. So this is perfect for me. The thing is, I know what this is. I, I kind of picked it out. <laughs> this is the bag from the last cruise. It's so. from Effie. Brian never used to let me go into Effie because I would constantly berate him for one of these. <laughs> and now we can go in because I have one. By the way, this came with a bunch of bonus items. Oh, they just like. Oh my god, they really. I know. Filled it up. They just Let's included look at those that. First. I know. They. Holy crap. <laughs> I know it. it she was just like, here's all these free gifts. It's nothing like of quality, I don't think. Yeah, it seems like it's like a bunch of bracelets. This one like, is so me. It's like a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. Like, what? these are Is there anything cool? I don't think there is. Oh, that one's cool. There's a ship. Oh, that's actually cool. What I is like it? Is, is it a bracelet or what is that? An ankle lit? What is that? It's giving bracelet, but I feel like you could make it an anklet if you wanted to. The problem mm. with these, I don't know. Like, I feel like once you pull it, you can't unpull it. I don't know. There's just like some free samples. What is that one? I think it must be a, a like a glass of wine or something. But they already have a glass of wine. I don't know. Maybe it's like a champagne flute yeah, I guess because so. that the, the wine we have, this is champagne. Okay, I I'll show so. what it actually okay, is. Okay, yeah, the actual present. Oh my God, Brian's proposing <laughs> again. <laughs> I always get scared because I don't know which way is up. Oh, yeah. But it's probably where the logo is. Okay, look what I, I picked these out, but Brian was the one to actually, you know, pull the trigger on them. These are the Royal Caribbean logo, but in earring form, and they're pink. I think they're so cool. Should I put them in right yes. now? Yes. Okay. Yeah, of course. No one can watch me do this because I'm so bad at it right now. Because <laughs> she just got I'm a newbie, okay? Yeah. I'm not used to putting things, you know, in and taking things out of my ear. It's just not natural to me. Some people have had their ears pierced since they were children, so I'm sure it is natural to them. Not for me. But I'll be right back and I'll put these in. Okay, let's see. How do I look? I think it actually looks really cool. I think it's so cool. And then imagine I start walking around the cruise ship and people are like, yeah. oh my gosh, this girl is a real fan. Next up, Royal Tattoo. 
<laughs> Next up, the gigantic necklace. The, the fifty thousand dollar. Yeah, because that's chain. Like, that'll go with this really well, yeah. right? I actually, I actually really like it. I think they're cool, and like I think it's perfect. We go on enough Royal Caribbean cruises where you know they'll get their use. Yeah, <laughs> and you're gonna look really cool on the ship. Too. I know. I hope I don't lose these like the other pair. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you know what's nice about By these? By the way, we think they—if you look at the footage—I think the your they were lost in the escape room. I think so too. And you know, not to give any spoilers, but in that escape room, you kind of like look under tables. Yeah. So I was doing a lot of like crawling under tables and like doing some of this. So I feel like that would be a good location for an earring. Yeah. Should we go up there and be like, no. "Excuse me, where's my There's earring?" No I already threw out the other one. They were like five dollars, oh, okay. so it wasn't a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> when I bought these, um, the salesperson was like, um, "This is the very last pair that we have," and so I think, I think, I, like, when the shops open, we should go down there and check. Like, was she actually lying? That or was like, such a lie. That's such a. Salesperson. I don't know. Also, here's a tip about Effie: is, um. Oh, well, that's oh. too dark. Pick your poison. Too bright or <laughs> too... <laughs> there, there's no in between. Um, at Effie, you can really haggle. Oh, yeah. Um, because she was like, this was... This. She's like, these are $260. And then she was like, but for you, I'll do 150 And, and then, then we were like, that's... No, I said, oh, I really came in here thinking, like, my budget is like 100 and then she came back and she's like 105 and, and then like, no, you it said really was 100 and, and, and then she's like oh okay 100 so like you can actually haggle at fe it seems like yeah i was not aware of that no i wasn't either we so unpacked we did and we need a snack so let me show you why this is the best possible state room okay we're out of our room the door is closed. Door's closed now it's the stairs we're on deck six and right here, the boardwalk. Wow, snacks are this close? This is where the snacks are. Wow. But this is like, room location on Oasis class ship matters a lot because the ship is really long. You might have to walk a long hallway, you might have to walk a lot of stairs to get where yeah. you wanna go, but if you choose correctly, if you choose wisely, <laughs> you can be right in the heart of the action. Always pick by the elevator. And no, it's not loud. So, um, Where's our snack? Johnny Rockets? Yeah, I've already planned out the perfect meal <laughs> for us. Looks like it might rain now, but here's Johnny Rockets right here on the boardwalk. So I guess we should eat inside. Yeah, unless it's covered. So we got our table here and we're like, well, let's sit outside, but it might rain. There's like a cover right here. And uh, the hostess was like, I don't think it's going to rain. I'm like, I think it might. But like, we're covered here and they're like, like we'll bet on it. So. She we have took a bet that now. it's not gonna rain. Brian took that it is gonna rain. I don't know what the bet was for, but then uh, she cute. made she made our straws into hearts. I love it. I've never seen anybody actually do it. Like, it's so cute. It's like not napkin art or towel art. It's now straw art. I've That's never seen crazy. that before. No, I've never seen this. And we have to destroy it if we want to drink. It. I know it makes me feel sad. I know, but that was really cool. Yeah. I didn't know this was a Halloween cruise. <laughs> Look how this, funny. The eyes are hearts, though. I love it. This was our perfect snack idea. Yes. French fries, onion rings, chocolate milkshake from Johnny Rocket. For dipping. Yeah, this is for not for the onion rings, but for the fries. Yes. For some reason, that's gross and that's good. <laughs> <laughs> did you write that she won the bet? <laughs> I did. <laughs> So it never rained. Yeah. Um, our waitress was absolutely amazing. She like made the hearts for us. She made a fun bet with us. She gave us our milkshakes with the diamond drink voucher, which we learned recently on another cruise that you can do that. But then she gave us the food for free. Yeah, normally this like you have to pay extra for this stuff, but she gave it to us for free. So I gave her a very nice tip because she won the bet. Yeah. So there's part of the tip is, you know, thank you for this. And then part of the tip is you were right and we were wrong. Yeah. So after our snack, we came up to the top deck so we could watch us sail away. And we're sailing by Jetty Park, 
And what a difference three weeks makes oh because my God, yeah. it's not very crowded at all at Jetty Park this time. That's what it's normally like. <laughs> yeah, nor last time we were here though, it was like a huge party celebration for Utopia leaving, yeah. um, but not anymore. Yeah, and we're in a spot on the ship I didn't even know existed. We're like behind the playground. I didn't even know like we could walk out here. I literally walked around. I thought we were going up there, yeah. which is by like the mini golf and El Loco Fresh, but no, this goes down. I'm so confused. I didn't even know this. Is it, I don't even know what goes down there. We're we'll gonna to find check out. out. Yeah. yeah. So it looks like that's where you can go for free. Oh yeah. So right there, you could. You don't have to pay to park right there. But right there you do. There's huh. some cute little benches there. That's yeah. nice. But uh, sayonara, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we figured, we, we came down the ramp and it looks like that's the windjammer right there. And you can literally walk in. Yeah, windjammer right there. And this is obviously where you enter the child place game. The playground. I had no idea. I literally had We're no idea. We're still discovering a lot about the ship. Although it seems like people are struggling to get inside the windjammer. Uh, so we're at Effie. <laughs> so let's see if they have the the earrings. They do. They do. Should I get the necklace and the ring to match? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe we were lied to. Yeah, no, of course we were. That's Oh my god, she said it was the last one ever. That's a joke. Okay, let's let's get out of here. I knew it. That that's a lie. Okay, but look at all this stuff. I mean a lot of this stuff is really nice. Look, can I get the green one? Yeah. That'll match. Those are probably way more expensive. I know. The reason why I picked out the pink ones was because we don't have any like diamonds around them. Uh, I was like, that's probably all right. Royal bling. Yeah. Okay, it's dinner time, and we're gonna do something we kind of rarely do: just go into the solarium and enjoy the solarium bistro. I don't know if we've done it on a Oasis class ship for dinner I feel before. Like we've only done it in Alaska. Yeah. How do we get in? I don't, I don't even know. know. I'm gonna go this way. The thing is, Solarium Bistro is Mediterranean food, and that's probably one of my least favorite food genres. But they still have some good stuff there, so we gotta try it. And this is how often we come here because we didn't even realize that we have to. It's like by the elevators, not in the solarium, to enter it. That might be different though. Yeah, like I don't I, know. that might be different on this ship versus the other ships. All right, so they have a special tonight, and it's barbecue pork ribs. Yeah. So that looks really delicious. The bread is focaccia bread. And then there's this like chicken with like potatoes and vegetables. So I was definitely able to find things even though it's not my favorite cuisine. Yeah, it's like a, um, it's a buffet. Yeah. Yeah, and like what's cool is they have these little dishes so you could just like grab things like, this is calamari with um, garlic aioli. And you can just like grab these trays of things. This is breaded zucchini. I got some focaccia. I got this daily special, which is the ribs chicken and some potatoes um and it's just like it's like a specialty restaurant it's free it's included yeah. there is a waiter but um it's like a buffet it's kind of like a ritzier wind jammer yeah you know yeah exactly so the food is actually really good yeah um well we got dessert now we have dessert i almost got one of everything but i decided that that would probably be a bad idea we got, this isn't creme brulee, what do they call it? It's it's essentially creme brulee. They were like creamy something, something. They said it's essentially creme brulee, but it's like, that's just like on the buffet, like out there to take. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. And then this is a chocolate cake, but it has hazelnut in it. Brian can't have hazelnut, so I have to take one for the team and try this. Yeah. So, you're welcome. I also got a creme brulee thing and some calamari for dessert, because it was really good. <laughs> is the cake good? Really moist. Wow. Yeah. Okay, it's time for tonight's dinner time question. Tonight's question comes from Ariana Bieber. So is that like Ariana Grande, yeah. Mary Justin Bieber? I'm not wow. sure. Um, but so the dinner time question is: Can you explain the gratuity cost and what it covers? On Royal's website, it's a set amount per person per day. But is that just for the room attendants, or does that cover gratuity for the main dining room as well, or is that separate? I know it's different for specialty dining, but I'm confused about main dining room. Okay, I'm gonna answer everything you need to know about tipping. If you've never been on a cruise, I'm going to give the tipping Tip. masterclass right now. Wow. Okay, here's everything you know about tipping. When you book your cruise, there's a thing. Do you wanna pay your gratuity now or later? Always do now. By the way, that auto gratuity that 
like you know they make you pay that either when you book the cruise or like on the last day of the cruise or whatever um always I just do it before the cruise do it when you book they just, have no surprise you don't, you don't have to think about it it's like that is just considered that gratuity that's a part that's like a tax of the cruise like that's just you have to pay it that should just be included in the cost of the cruise you think about that as like a tax I really. guess technically you don't have to pay it because there are okay. some people online who are like the people that remove that I think are wrong because this is a whole debate online it is People will, will remove that and they'll be like, well, I'm just going to tip in cash. I don't believe that. It, well, first of all, I don't believe you. Second of all, there's other positions that you're not going to really be, able, have, to be able to. Like, because when you do this automatic tip, like it covers people in restaurants like this and at the Windjammer and the main dining room. Even if you don't go to the main dining room. Like it probably all covers the crew. chefs behind the scenes that you don't. Yeah, see, like, I don't know exactly who all gets included, but like, you're not going to be able to tip everybody in cash that is supposed to get that money. So, anyway, that that fee that you have to pay, uh, pay it when you book your cruise, and then forget about it. Yeah. So here's what we do: every time we go on a cruise, before the cruise, I get cash. Um, because I never use cash for anything else, so I have to get it before the cruise. Um, here's everybody you have to tip in cash on your cruise. First up, when you get to the port, you drop off your bags. You have to tip that guy that takes your bags. I think it's like $5 a bag. That's like what you should be paying. Standard. That's like the standard. By the way, everybody has different yeah, ideas about tipping, but this is what we do, and I think this is what the, the standard is. Yeah, because somebody else could be like, oh, I do $10 a bag, I do 20 it's Yeah, like, this is know. just, yeah. This is um, what we think. This is what we think. Um, the next person that you probably will tip is your stateroom attendant. And again, they get tipped in that automatic fee that you pay. But we like to do about $10 a night unless it's a suite. If it's a junior suite or above, we normally do like $20 a night in cash um, and we leave it in the room or we give it to the stateroom attendant. And next would be like specialty dining. When you book your specialty dining, there is an auto gratuity. Um, I feel like anytime there's an auto gratuity on a receipt, I pretend it's like really not there. Yeah. So. When you go to a specialty restaurant, part of the fee, like there is an automatic gratuity that you can't really change, but we always do like $20. Yeah, I will say like we tip less than we would in a land restaurant because there is that auto gratuity. Um, Cause like $20 on a $100 did well. But they're already like getting money from the auto gratuity, but we do an extra. We do. And I like to do cash um, if possible because I, it's like directly to them and like they get it instantly yeah. and like I don't know how their payroll system works or whatever like how they get that money but if you just give them cash at the specialty dining like then you know they have it and I think they probably appreciate it way more than if you wrote $20 on the bill right but sometimes you don't have the cash so um, we're making some assumptions here but I I would assume that they appreciate cash more yeah and then like when we get a drink which is normally like a soda or a Red Bull or right. something. Um, it says auto gratuity. We use our voucher and it says like the, auto, um, the voucher includes the auto gratuity, whatever, but we still do like one or two dollars more. Yeah. Like basically whenever it says auto gratuity, like we do a little bit extra. Um, I'm trying to think of other things. So the person specifically oh. asked about main dining room. We don't usually okay. go to the main dining yeah, room. Yeah, we but. normally don't go to the main dining room, but those servers are included in that one-time fee. Um, if you wanted to, you could give them cash as like an extra thing, yeah, like at the end of the cruise. Sometimes they give you an envelope to tip people, and so you could tip them that way. I thought of two more places where we tip. Okay. On an excursion. Oh yeah. If you have a really good tour guide, we normally do like twenty dollars a person to that tour guide. I feel like we save that for like if it was amazing. We don't always. Yeah, we don't always, yeah, we don't always do it because a couple times we've had bad tour guides and we don't do it. Yeah. But sometimes we have really good tour guides and um, we, definitely we always do it. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it's also different if like, if you're going to Blue Lagoon, like that's, and you're like, you're just taking the ferry over. Like that's different than like, if you go on a whale watching tour and like they're they really with you, you with the whole time. Like 
those people, you know. Yes. Yeah. One other thing I can think of just off the top of my head is um, the Starbucks crew. Oh, yeah. Because you because use them a lot. I, well, yeah, I use the app, too, to pay. So there's no option for me to leave a tip. And on a seven-night cruise, they really get to know you. And they will remember you and know your order. And so sometimes at the end of the cruise, this is really like on seven night cruises when they actually yeah. get to know me. Yeah. I take that envelope that they leave in your stateroom and I put cash in there and I give it to them. And I just write the Starbucks crew. On yeah. Um, can you think of any other times we tip? I just think it's a good idea before your cruise, get cash, like tens and twenties. Oh, I thought of another one. Oh my gosh. Room service. Oh yeah. Which is, I think supposed to be like, Five dollars a person, I think. Okay, I yeah. think we normally do like ten dollars because there's two of us. Yeah, I think it's perfectly fine if you just pay those auto gratuities and you leave it at that. If that's what you can afford, I think that that's totally okay. But I do think it's really nice that if you have the means to tip extra, to tip in all these places that you've stated, because I think that, that that's a really kind gesture to go above and beyond. Yeah, look, when you pay that auto gratuity fee. What do you call that when you book your cruise and it's like, yeah. is it the, the it's automatic or Okay. Yeah. Then you don't have to worry about the main dining room. Like it's covered, but unless they're really good, then you might want to do cash. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting other scenarios when to tip, but I thought of another one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I know like once we like leave, I'm going to think of something else. But um, when we had the Royal Suite, um, the sweet host oh. did a lot for us and he like escorted us onto the ship yeah. and stuff like that and he was always checking in on us to see like if we needed anything and so we did tip that guy cash too um we've never done it but what if we had a genie if you have a genie you have to pay but well, we've never had a genie right. we've never had a room that has that but you do have to tip a genie too yeah um but yeah, these are just our stand, like I feel like what we tip is like the standard numbers, but like, I don't know. I feel like tipping is so discretionary. Like someone is going to watch this video and go, oh my God, you guys don't tip enough. Like that's ridiculously low. Like you guys are like, you don't tip enough. And then somebody else is gonna watch the video and go, oh my God. You guys tip so much, I can't afford that. Like I can't tip that much. And I feel like all of that is okay. <laughs> I think pay at your yeah. own discretion, but I think the, the most definitive thing here is pay your auto gratuities yes. and don't ask to have them removed. And then we can yeah. all agree on that, hopefully. <laughs> I know that there's some discussion boards that don't agree on that, but I think if you do that, then you're, you're golden. This was a really long answer, <laughs> but I feel like it will be good for someone that's never been on a cruise before. Like this is just, this is how you do it. I don't know. Yeah, I hope, I hope it's helpful. It, I think it is, if you've never been on a cruise. Um, I, all I know is that the crew works really hard. They never have a day off. They really they do They come on the ship, they do these month-long contracts. Multi-month. Multi-month, like, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Like, they do like, I think it's like four to six months or something. They never have a day off. Not even on the weekend. They don't have a weekend. Every single day they're working. And their days, they are long. They do not work eight hours a day. They work like 12. I really do think the most important person to tip is the stay room attendant. And when we tip them, I do think we get, maybe we get more towel animals. And they when they see us in the hallway, they really appreciate it. They always mention it. Like You can tell, they, like their face lights up when they see us because I think they, they really appreciate it. They really do. I mean, even like, on our last cruise, um, for some reason, there was a few times where we were, like we were coming back to the room with like drinks in both of our hands or like a plate, and and our stay room attendant would like run and open the door for us. Yeah. And, like, and I think that might be because he really liked us because we were tipping. So I don't know. I, you never, you never know because you, I know, yes. you can live both options of tipping versus not tipping and seeing how they treat you. But I, I do feel like. I don't know, it just seems like they, they, they brighten their day maybe a little. Yeah, I I'm, I'm probably forgot another situation, but if there's just a, a crew member, um, I, I'm pretty sure every crew member you could tip, like, and they would really appreciate it. Yeah. So I always have, get 10s and 20s before the cruise. And um, Solarium Bistro is underrated, I think, or underappreciated, because I think it was really good. And like, 
Not many people are here. Yeah, that's true. Like, we never come here. I feel like we should come here more. And it's nice because I feel like we can dress casual. Like, we're just wearing the outfits that we boarded on in, you know? Yeah, it is casual and light, but, um... I will say, so the menu change here is the same. The only thing is the carving station changes. So if we came back tomorrow, it would be the same thing, except for the carving station. Except for the, so, the, ribs. the ribs. They yeah. were good. That yeah. was probably my favorite part. Yeah. Is it good? It kind of tastes like a Hawaiian punch. Yeah. I got the All Aboard Sprint, which is a zero-proof uh, mocktail here on the, what is this thing called? Uh, rising tide. The rising tide. Now we got on. One of my goals for this trip was to get on it while it's moving. I don't think it's gonna move. I don't know either. I, so there's like a sign outside. It's like next trip is at 1:30 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I don't believe that. And we got on, but like, it's not really moving. Yeah. So, so I don't know. We're just chilling in Central Park here. We might move. We might not. I don't know. I don't know. At least I have a Hawaiian punch. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it turns out uh, we are moving. <laughs> I'm so glad. I feel like maybe I like caused it to happen, you know? Like, yeah. I motivated it to move. Yeah. We've made a lot of progress so far. We awesome. can see the schooner bar. That's on deck six. We're almost on to five. The, the more I sip this mocktail, the more I like it. It's, it's actually like pretty good. Very sugary. So we made it to the promenade. There's the live band up there. We're just gonna walk around, see what's up. What's happening? We're just gonna walk around. Okay. We're back in our room. No towel animal tonight because it is the first night and that's not something they usually do on Royal on the first night. But uh, it was a good boarding day. Yeah, I feel I love like this ship. It was so chill, maybe because we've already done it before. So like it, it felt so easy. It really did. It was very nice. Yeah, so tomorrow is Nassau. So that means we will be Spending the day on the ship. It's a day at sea tomorrow, really. Yeah. See you there. See ya.